Oh yeah, now we're cooking. What up guys, Slayer down here, back on the Holocube Amplified server. And you know what? If you watched the last video, you'll know that I gave a little hint of what we're going to be doing today. And that is right up here in the tower. Oh, yeah, that was a good jump. I can still pick it up there. Yep, right here. This is what we're going to be working on. And remember, I that was the hint. I know, not that good of a hint, but here's an even better hint. I'll just highlight it for you. Yes, we're going to be making an auto furnace room, kind of like an auto smelter. Uh, got the got the plans from Tango Tech. It's a really nice setup. Uh, the one he made is like 15 furnaces and it's like a furni or whatever you want to call them. And that would never fit in this tower. So I decided to go with eight. And I changed some of the wiring a little bit. Sorry if it keeps glitching. That's just the shaders, just the shaders. But yeah, so it's gonna be eight wide and it's still gonna do everything automatic. That's gonna be so cool. Uh, so let me double check my drawings and schematic and we'll get this thing started. I'm in my redstone test world, as you can see there. Uh, you know, it's not like Mumbo's, but nah. It works for me, it, it, it gets the job done. But this right here, this is the design Tango came up with. And basically it takes all these furnaces, for furni, whatever you wanna call them, like I keep saying that, and it makes it to where when you put your items in this chest here and put your fuel in this chest here, it locks everything. That way they all turn on at the exact same time. And under here, you can actually flip a lever and that way it doesn't auto filter everything over to this chest here. That way you can collect the experience if you want to. And it's like, eh, I don't care about that. I, I really, really don't care about that. And the light here, this light just tells you if it's getting empty. I mean, I can just walk over and be like, yeah, there's coal in there, but that's just me. I mean, this all, this design is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I needed to get it a little more compact to fit in the tower. So with a little bit of working on it and getting rid of stuff that I don't need, the timer here, the light, the torch tower for the light, the light sensing redstone dust. Yeah, don't need all that. I stripped it down. This is basically half of the build. I just made it four so I wasn't making it super long trying to work out the bugs. And yeah, works just fine. It does the exact same thing. I mean, they don't they aren't synchronized, but it still works just fine. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. So let's head back over to the server and get this thing built. I got the layout set up and this is where it's going to be. Uh, the output side is going to be over here on the right, just like it was in the test world. And that's pretty much it. The rest is just going to be building it real quick. Uh, it's not going to take long to build. It's such a simple design that I, I should do it on camera, but I would just mess it up every five seconds. So I'm not going to. Uh, I'll just keep doing quick cuts and keep you up to date. There's all the hoppers placed. They're ready to go. You've got your items to be smelted input right there. You've got your fuel input back here. And right there is item smelted output. I haven't laid out exactly where I want the chests and everything yet. Uh, that'll be here in a few. But now, let's get the redstone part in. All the redstone is in. And you know what? I was doing some counting. And look, I might be able to fit two more on this bad boy. You know, that way instead of eight, we have 10, 10 for an eye. Oh yeah, that, that would be awesome. Just a little bit faster. Uh, it looks like this block here would just come out by one and that's gonna all come out by one. Let's double check around the back. Uh, yeah, I should be able to place a torch there and there. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to squeeze it in there. Let me, uh, let me do that real quick. I now have 10 furni up in here. And if you look right here, right here, it comes right to the edge. I mean, there's no room 
for anything else. They just right to the edge of the tower. And right up here, that fit just fine. I'll be able to pull these off and place the input chests up here just fine. And of course the output chest, it's got tons of room to play so I can do whatever I want. So yeah, it's built. Looks like it's ready to get running. Uh, now I gotta think of a design for the room. Can't leave it like this. While working on the design of this lovely little room here, something popped in my head. I was thinking maybe I need a uh, item sorter that will drop everything into the storage room right down below. Uh, so I was back on the testing world and all the designs require it to be fed from the top. So my initial thing was like, I don't wanna have to tear this down and rebuild it. I'll just come over here and build up. You know, I can just build up, I think right where this torch is actually. And I could build up here, make the sorting system up here and then just have it filter down over here. But that's a lot of clocks and a lot more stuff that I'm gonna have to throw in. So instead of doing that, I'm going to tear this thing back down I already measured, it's going to fit. I'm going to tear it all back down and place it right up here. Right on the next level. Whoops. Right on the next level, I said. There we go. Right up here. So, let me uh, put a new floor in, move this whole thing up, and I'll be right back. It's all been rebuilt. And as you can tell, I don't have any decorations in. Just because, you know, now that I've moved it, I'm going to be adding so much more redstone, I don't want to decorate it just yet. But, as you can see down here, that's where it was. So that's all the room I'm going to need to make the item sorter. That'll go into the chests over here and chests over here, which are actually below this. But I just wanted to get this thing up and running so I can use it. And, as you can see, I finally got enough coal to fill it up. So let's take some cobblestone throw it in check it out see what it does give it a sec I hope it works come on what's going on I need to see some fire nothing's in there what I mess up did I mess something up oh oh darn now see, this, this, this right here, this is why I label my chests. Throwing chests in the uh, stuff in the fuel chest to be smelted is just going to send it in an endless, endless loop forever and ever. I had to go up there and take the stuff back out because, well, it's just going to go around in circles, around in circles, and not do anything. I'm supposed to put it in this chest, just like that. Now... Now stuff just start happening. Let's see. Boom. Look at that. That is awesome. And there it goes. Check it out. It works. I should be getting my stuff in here. There it is. Look how fast that is. It, it just pumps them in. It's like 10. Give it a couple more seconds. And it'll just pump another 10 out. How cool is that? Look at that so much more efficient yeah I really like it definitely can't wait until I can do that sorter down there and once it's all built up it'll make it so much easier to do the stuff that I need to do alrighty yeah I really like it alrighty so everything is in that I need there's a storage room there's that blank room and there's the smelter right up here and like I was saying, now that it's all in, I can start working on the actual base. You know, I, I can get stuff smelted really fast. I've got all my items up in there and I don't have to run back and forth between, you know, way over there and then zip through the nether and come in here and then back up here. I can get stuff done. It's going to be so nice. So nice. So now, like I said, got to work on this. There's not much to look at, but we're going to make it something to look at. But anyway, guys, thanks for kicking it with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.